so you can see that the moment I rotate this potentiometer, it will increase and decrease the speed of this delay. See, when I go to rotate it to the right, you can see the delay speed has increased. Light, it is blinking very fast. At the extreme end, you will see that it's nearly on because delay is very less. Now I go to the opposite direction, it will keep on decreasing that blinking speed. See, I go further opposite, it is decreasing. Now it has decreased more. I rotate it further. See, it has decreased further. I rotate it further. With every step, there is a value sent to the ADC converter and that converts that value which in turn multiplies with the delay. Now, see that with every turn, the value decreases. If I go in this direction and at the extreme end in this direction, you will see that the value is very long. It's like 3 seconds. See? Now, if I go in the opposite direction, the value will keep on increasing. See, it increases the delay time. I go further, it will further increase the, increase the blinking speed, see. I go further, see it's even faster. I go further, you can see that it's very fast. Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can control the blinking speed of an LED using a potentiometer with a PIC16 FH77A microcontroller. So let's get started. So guys, this is our PIC16 FH77A microcontroller having 40 pins. It's a DIP variant. And this is a potentiometer I'm talking about. It has three pins. You can name them as the rightmost ground center one the ADC output pin, the left one as a VCC pin. Uh, you can shuffle the ground and VCC, it will only change the uh, direction of rotation. It will go to opposite, then the resistance will increase. If you go this side, then it will be the uh, other way around. So rest is fine. So in short, you can shuffle the ground and VCC pin. Now guys, let's connect it. Uh, so VCC will go directly with the VCC pin of the pick. Ground will go to the ground of the pick. And for the ADC pin, you can use any available analog to digital conversion pin of your PIC microcontroller. I'm going to use a pin number A and 0. Now guys, for blinking of an LED, I'm going to use this normal 5mm crystal type LED. It has two pins, one shorter and one longer. The shorter pin is always the ground of an LED and the longer pin is a power pin. Remember that you cannot shuffle these two pins. The shorter pin is always a ground. If you go other way around, then this will get burned. Now guys, uh, to connect it with the pick, you connect the ground pin directly with the ground of the pick like this. Now for the power pin, you will need a 220 ohm resistor. You can use 100 ohm, 220 ohm, 330 ohm, but maximum not more than 500 ohm, else your LED will go much dimmer. Then guys, you will connect the power pin to one end of the 220 ohm resistor like this. Then from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor, you can use any digital input output pin of your pick. I am going to use the pin number B3 because it's available in my project. So guys, this is our total hardware. Now I'm going to set this LED to blink and the LED will keep on blinking, but the speed of blinking, that is the time of its on and off will be determined by this potentiometer. If we rotate it, the time will increase. And if we rotate it in the other direction, the blinking time will decrease. So let me introduce you to the hardware before we get to the programming. So guys, this is our hardware here, as you can see. This is the potentiometer and this is the LED I'm going to use. This is our potentiometer and here you can see the PIC16 FA77A microcontroller. So let's get to the programming. So guys, this is programming tool, micro C for PIC. Let me, let me zoom in. It's version 7.2.0, 7.5.0 is also available. You can update it as well. Go to the new, new project. Click on next, write the name of the project. And that is, I write learning microcontrollers LED blink speed control tutorial like this. Uh, select the path, right? Uh, select the microcontroller you are going to use. I'm going to use a PIC16 FA77A. Select the crystal you are going to use. I'm going to use a 20 hertz crystal. Sorry, it's 20 like this. Click on next and finish. Then guys, this window will pop up here. First of all, before doing anything else, press Ctrl S to save your progress. 
now the progress is saved now guys before doing anything else initialize the led pin write down this b dot which one we are going to use here is a b3 is b dot f3 is equals to 0 and this is the pin declaration like in case of what you know we write pin mode uh, pin 3 output here we write this b dot f3 now the initial state like we write digital right here we will use port b dot f3 equals to 0 that initially the led must be off give some initialization delay 20 will do fine 20 millisecond now guys we are using a potentiometer for that we will need the adc library go to the right micro libraries system libraries check mark the adc we are going to use this for that write down adc init double bracket back, uh, colon now this command initialize all the adc pin of your pick microcontroller now guys this gives some initialization delay and now here we have our led pin initialized and potentiometer pin initialized now we can go for the programming of, of the forever loop so forever loop write down while one it starts from here and is here and in the center first of all we will need a variable which will store the value of the uh, sensor value coming from the sensor i take i and t well that will be the integer so we write well is equal to adc underscore capital r e a d read from which channel channel zero this is the command and its syntax and this is the channel and the channel we are using is pin number is zero a zero that is pin number two so i dot zero if you are using pin number a and one then you will write one here that's all rest will remain the same and this is this now give some initialization delay 10 will do fine these delays are not important you can go without them but i am using them just for safety purpose now guys since we have our adc value now now this is the time this will determine the time now we will need a loop which will repeat the now first of all we write port b dot f3 equals to 1 now the initial state is changed initially it was at 0 but now it is at 1 it's on now it has to turn off b dot f3 equals to 0 now there must be a time for how long it should stay on and for how long it should stay off for that we write do while loop do and then i write close while and then there will be a condition and then this you can also use the for loop i'm going to use a do while also do this now this will act as a as our delay time this will determine the time now what we do is that we take another variable like int turn how many turns we write here turn equal to turn plus one so and here we write turn is less than value so turn is less than value why because this will keep on increasing incrementing the loop and for how long it should keep on incrementing the loop this will be determined by the value given from the sensor so if the value of the sensor is greater than the turn then it will keep on repeating until the turn becomes equal to the value then after that turn must become zero so if the turn value is not zero then it will bypass this loop as well so here again we will do the same so you simply copy paste this copy this here and paste it here now this will act as our manual delay like this is a delay when we are giving manually so here we have it till here now now inside it now this write down delay ms1 i had taken one because it will be one millisecond for one adc value 2 power 10 means it's a maximum of 1024 so, uh, means 0 to 1023 so if you want to multiply it by any factor just make it 2 it will be like now 3000 something value because it's now multiplied by 3 so i make it 1 i build the code then we go to the micro c for pick programming tool let me erase any code previously okay it's done i pick up the file this is the file i click on write okay the new code is being written let's get to the hardware let's zoom out as well you can see that the new code is being written now it's written okay you can i think see that led is blinking very slowly i rotate the potentiometer 
see it has become very fast but you cannot see because of quality of the camera i rotated in the other direction see that it is going very slowly now what we do is that i think you can see this it is blinking we go back here we add that in the one time loop the turn starts at 0 equals to 0 so whenever we restart the value will be zeroed zeroed again okay as i had told you earlier that this is the time which will determine how the speed i make it 10 now now whatever the value is it will be multiplied by 10 so this will like increase the delay time at this time the delay time is too small so we make it also we add a delay in the close uh, ending loop now they will be the same timing i build this code i go back to the hardware and i zoom out and i burn the new code so just click on write the new code is being burned wait for the new code to burn okay the new code is burned now see that the time has greatly increased see it takes a lot of time for the led to blink now i rotate the potentiometer see now it has even increased further i go in the now see that the time has decreased it is a maximum speed now i rotate it in the opposite direction slowly the timing will change see the timing is changing see you can see that it's blinking fast now i go in the further other direction see it is slowing down now i rotate it further it will slow down further see it's now very slow now i rotate it to the extreme end at every point the led blinking is speed is changing because the delay is determined by this this potentiometer the loop repeating defines the delay and that is de depending upon this value the loop will keep on repeating until this value is not met so the greater the value the longer it will take to meet the value see it is now very long delay now i go in the opposite direction to slow down the delay see the delay has slowed down now i further go to the left see it has fastened up now if you want to increase this delay time like you want to change this multiplication factor then remember that this delay inside this loop define the multiplication factor if you make them different like for off time it will be a different delay for on time it will be a different delay that's all this delay here i make it three only then the maximum delay will be multiplied by this uh, value you can call it like maximum is 1 3000 3 second so i make it 10 it is like multiplied by this value that's all so i go back now now this is the hardware let let me zoom out let's burn the code again okay now the delay will be less because we had changed the multiplication factor see that it's very fast at this point because delayed has been lowered down by like seven times now i rotate it this will increase the delay time i rotate it to the extreme end see this is the maximum delay with this uh, value that is three see it's like three second now i rotate it and it will start lowering down the delay with every rotation see see that with every rotation the delay lowers down see now it's blinking faster so it will increase the speed of blinking with every rotation see now it's very fast that you cannot even see with this camera i go 
see this is even fast and let's decrease the speed further now now see it's medium speed so guys that is how you can use a potentiometer to control the blinking speed of an led uh, the code will be in the description of this video i will share a google drive link and you can open that link to download the code and all the hex file and all the micro c4 pic files so thank you very much for your time if you have any questions please do ask them in the comment and have a nice day